Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this poncho here. Now I don't have a lot of room to show you, but here is the design. Um, it's a lot of double crochets and then you got to know how to do back post triple crochets in order to make this poncho. If you're pretty good at those, you'll be able to make it. Now this is a one size fits most. If, if you're someone of a larger statue you can always just keep adding more rows than i did and the poncho will just grow and you can get it make it fit you to as big as you want um these beads are optional you don't have to put beads on it if the chain you can shorten the chain i talk about that later but that's it i think it turned out pretty pretty cool it's a two-point poncho i like it so uh, let's go ahead and get started on this Okay, for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Scarfy Yarn. It is a 78% acrylic, 20% wool, and it is a bulky number five. There's 312 yards per skein, and I went through almost three skeins for my size, so you're going to need a little, no, 900 yards, probably, um... If you want to make it bigger though or add fringe you'll definitely need more because this is all i have left of my third skein just a, just a very little um you want to make sure you don't have to use this yarn um but you want to use any type of bulky five yarn will work it doesn't have to be this there's the color that i chose but of course any color will work and then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, you wanna start off with a chain of 78. And we're gonna follow our chain down without twisting it. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So we're starting with the neck of our poncho. Just like that. Now we are going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're gonna go back into the same spot that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work across and we're gonna put one single crochet in every single stitch of the entire chain. Just like this. And we're going to repeat doing the one single crochet in every stitch all the way around our big ring here until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it back to the beginning and I have a total of 78 stitches. Now what I'm going to do is end round one by slip stitching into my first single crochet. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. That ends round one. Now we're going to start round two, which actually starts the repeat rounds for the whole poncho. So there's two points to the poncho. There's a back and a front. So it's a two-point poncho. We're going to chain one. We're going to put, put our first point here. Right here into the same spot that we just slip stitched into. We want to work three double crochets into the same spot. There's one two and three then we are going to chain two and then we're going to go back into that same spot you might have to slide your stitches over and work three more double crochets there's one two and three now we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and in the next one, we're going to put three double crochets into the same stitch. Again, we're gonna skip two stitches, 
skip, skip, and we're going to work three double crochets into the next. Skip two stitches, skip, skip, and three doubles into the next. And we're going to repeat this. skipping two and then working three doubles into the next until we have a total of 12 sets of these three double crochet not counting the point so you see right now we have three sets we don't count this right here we want to do it until we have a total of 12. so skip two and then three doubles into the next So that's four sets, skip two, three doubles into the next, and that's five sets. So we're going to continue until we have a total of 12 sets of three double crochet. All right, I've done my three set or 12 sets of three double crochet. Remember, we don't count any of these points here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to make our second point, so we're going to skip two stitches, and in the next stitch we are going to work three double crochets. A chain of two, and three more double crochets in the same spot. So that makes our second point of the poncho. Now we're going to continue over here, what we did over here. So we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to put three doubles into the next. And then we'll skip two stitches again and put three doubles into the next. Skip two and three doubles into the next. And we want to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end. I have two stitches left and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. That'll end round two. And now you should have a total of 84 stitches come all the way around. And you'll have your two points there. So for round three, we are going to slip stitch three times to our first chain two space of our first point. So there's one, two, and three. And then we will chain one. Now we're going to go right back into the same stitch here. And we're going to do our point again. We're going to work right into the, right into the chain space here and work three doubles. So there's one two, three, and we're going to chain two, and we're going to work three more double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Now we are going to be working in the spaces between these sets of three double crochets. So we're just going to go into the next space between these sets of three double crochet from the from the previous round so right here and we're going to work three double crochets into that space and then we'll jump to the next space right here and work three double crochets Again, the next space will be three double crochets. And three doubles into the next. And we're going to repeat this until we get to our next point of the poncho. All right, I've made it to my next point here, this chain two space. Now, in, I'm in the chain two space, I'm going to work another point. So I'm going to work three double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two. 
and in the same spot I'm going to work three double crochets again. So I'm going to repeat again what I did over here on this side. So I'm going to work three double crochets in this space here. Now remember it's not a chain one space, it's just a space between these sets of double crochets from the previous round. So let's go right into that space and work three double crochets. And then the next space, three double crochets. And I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end of the round. Alright, I've made it here to the end of round three. And I'm going to go ahead and end. He just skipped this set of three here. by End by slip stitching into my... First double crochet, and now you should have a total of 90 stitches. Okay, now what we're going to do for round four is we're just going to repeat what we did on round three. So we are going to slip stitch three times to our chain two space, and then we will chain one. We're going to go right back into that same spot and work our point which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets and now we are going to be working in the chain space or it's not a chain space, it's just the space between the sets of, of double crochet from the previous round. Again, three double crochets into that spot. So what we're doing now for round four is we're just repeating round three. It's three double crochets in each of those little spots between the sets from the previous round and then when we get to the next point we just work our three doubles chain two and three doubles and we continue working this all the way around until we get back to the beginning so round four here i'm just repeating round three so i'm going to go ahead and keep working and i'll meet back up with you at the end of the row Okay, I'm coming to the end of round four, and I want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet, and you should have a total of 96 stitches now. All right, now we're going to start round five. We're going to slip stitch three times to our first chain two space. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work our point here, so we're going to chain one, and then we're going to go back into it, and we're going to work three double crochets, a chain of two, and three more double crochets. Oops. Now what we're going to do for round five is we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch. So make sure you get this first one here because sometimes it hides. You got to pull them back. You don't want to miss it otherwise your count will be off. And I'm just going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain two space. We're not working in the space between the stitches anymore. We're just putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next point. All right, I've made it to my next point here and I'm going to work 
three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Just like that. And now I'm going to repeat what I did over here on the other side. So make sure you pull back and get this very first stitch. And I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming here to the end of round five. Now, you wanna make sure we slip stitched here. There's, and it's gonna be hard to see the stitches, but you, there's three double crochets there and you have to make sure you go into each of the three. Just kinda do your best to go into the top of the three double crochets that are here. It's hard to tell because they're slip stitches, but there are three there that you need to go into. Here we go. Now we're going to end round five by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you'll have a total of 108 stitches. All right, now we're going to start round six. And we are going to slip stitch three times to our first chain two space. Then we are going to chain one and we're going to work our point right here. So we are going to work three double crochets. Chain of two and three more double crochets. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to work a back post triple crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain two space. So we're going to yarn over twice like we're going to do a triple but we're going to go around the post from like from the back to the front to where the post is on the back of your hook like that and then we go ahead and do a triple crochet like that. Okay, again, yarn over twice like you're going to do a triple crochet. Go around the post from the back side and then back around again. And if you look, your post will be on the back of the hook. And then just go ahead and do a triple crochet. Again, yarn over It's a little tricky at first, the back posts are, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be breezing light right along again. So I'm going to work a back post triple crochet in every single stitch until I get to my next point. like that it's kind of just creating a ridge here just kind of just a little bit of texture so i'm going to go ahead and continue my back post triple crochet in every stitch until i get to my next chain two space or my next point all right i've made it to my next point and as you can see that ridge that that created by doing that now in the next chain two space here i'm just going to work my point i'm going to work three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets 
And now I'm going to repeat over here what I did on the other side. So it's one back post triple crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Just like that all the way until I get back to where I started all right I'm coming to the end of round six here now here is the last three stitches that we slip stitched into and because there's a chain one there it appears to be four stitches but there's not there that chain one doesn't count as a stitch there's three you want to make sure you uh, back post triple crochet around those last three stitches One, two, and three. And now we're going to end round six by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you will have a total of 120 stitches. So that's kind of what it's starting to look like. So round seven, what we are going to do is just repeat what we did for round six. So we are going to slip stitch three times to our first point or our first chain two space. Chain one and in the chain two space we are going to work three double crochets. A chain of two and three more double crochets like that and now we're just going to repeat what we just did we're going to work a back post triple crochet around every stitch until we get to our next chain two space or our next point just like this So round seven is a repeat of round six. Back post triple crochet in every stitch. And then when I get to my next chain two space, I just work my three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And then I continue with my back post triple crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. So round seven, I'm gonna repeat round six and I will meet back up with you when I get back at the end of the row. All right, I have made it to the end of round seven. And you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. And you should have a total of 132 stitches now. Round eight is the last round for the repeats. So we're going to repeat what we just did, but we're just gonna do one thing different. So we're gonna go ahead and start round eight round eight by slip stitching three times to our first chain two space now here is where the difference is we are going to chain one now in this point on round eight and every time you repeat round eight it this is all always the same on this round instead of putting three double crochets chain two three double crochets we are going to put four double crochets A chain of two and four more double crochets now remember round eight is what we're on and every time you repeat round eight that is the only time you make that change on the point the rest of the time the points always the same so four doubles chain two four doubles and now we're gonna just kind of repeat what we did on the previous round it's one back post triple crochet in every stitch 
until we get to our next chain two space. So just like that. Okay, I made it to my next point on round eight. So right here again, we are going to put four double crochets. Oops. Chain of two and four more double crochets. And then we are going to repeat uh, over here what we just did over here. So it's the same thing. We're working one front or one back post triple crochet, I'm sorry, in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. like that it's okay if your points are looking kind of wonky don't worry about it so you got these three stripes you can see on um, the side there so I'm going to continue working my front post triple crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point all right I made it to the end of round eight and you should have a total of a hundred and forty eight stitches and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet now, now all we're going to do is repeat rounds 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it's a 7 row repeat. Now, the only difference is we're on round 9 now, which is a repeat of uh, round 2. The only difference now when we repeat round 2 from when we first did round 2, there's one difference. We are going to slip stitch four times to our first chain two space. We did not do that on the first round two, but we do it from now on on every round two. So that's the only difference. And now it's just a repeat of rounds two through eight. Remember that difference right there now on round two. We do that now every time we repeat, repeat round two. So we're going to repeat round two for round nine. We're going to chain one, go back in there and work three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. And round two is where we skipped two stitches, skip, skip, and we work three double crochets into the next. Now make sure you are skipping this very first stitch because it does hide underneath these stitches. If you want to make sure you get that, because if you don't, you're going to be, your count will be off. So skip one, two, and then the next one, we work three double crochets. Skip two and three doubles into the next. So now I'm just going to continue repeating rounds two through eight. Remember with that exception of the beginning of round two that we do different now just by slip stitching. Now if you need to rewind me that's fine to find out um, what I did at each round. But I'm going to keep repeating those rounds two through eight until I get my poncho the length that I want it to be. Now I will put down in the description box the stitch count that you should have for each row at the end of each row. So just look down there and I'll have the number at the end of each row of how many stitches you should have. So 
So I'm just going to continue working, repeating, 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 until I get my poncho quite a bit larger. This is really all there is to it. Once you get that repeat down, it's not hard. All right, so I'll see you here in just a second. Okay, I went ahead and I done a total of 25 rows. And that is starting from the very, very first row of single crochet that we did all the way down 25. So I ended in the, the sets of three double crochet. One, two, three. That's how I ended. You can do more if you want. If you do decide to do more rows than me, I would recommend ending on the uh, sets of three like that. That way uh, it doesn't flip up. If you end on one of these uh, where you're doing back post triple crochets, it tends to flip up. So it's best to end on these rows. But I did 25. So if you want to follow along with me, 25. And then just go ahead and end with a slip stitch there at the end. And go ahead and tie off and hide that tail. But now I'm going to go around the top here and clean up the collar. Okay, so now I'm going to start in the back of the poncho here. Just anywhere along the back here, just so the start of your is in the back here. So just start in any stitch that you want along the back. And all I'm going to do is chain one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and I'm going to single crochet and now I'm going to work around and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch around the collar. This is just going to clean up the collar and give it a nice finished edge. So just like this, one single in every stitch, all the way around the front and back here to where you started. All right, I've made it back to my starting point. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet and then I'm gonna tie off. You should have 78 stitches here because that's what we started with. But as long as it's somewhere close to that, it doesn't have to be exact. Oh my goodness, I just pulled it out. So. What you want to do now is go ahead and hide any remaining tails that you have. There you go. All right, now what I've done is I have made a chain of 150 and I left kind of longer tails at both ends to sew my beads on with. If you want to do this, you don't have to do this, but what I'm going to do now is I got my front of my poncho here. This is the front. Turn the camera down a bit and I'm going to weave it in along the top here. Let's see, I'm going to weave it over and under these rows of where we put three double crochets. So that's actually, this is where we trimmed the collar. This was row one and this was row two. So I'm going to weave it in between row one and row two. over and under just like this and you can make your chain longer or shorter if you want but you know it's up to you it depends on how long you want it but i'm going to do this all the way around the whole piece until i get back to the beginning remember i'm just going over and under those sets of three there here where these two double up I'm just gonna go under them like that or over them if you end up to where you're over them it doesn't matter just treat them treat those doubles right there as one if that makes sense I'm 
god, I'm almost there. Now remember, if you don't want yours to hang down as low as mine, and that's fine. But there we go. All right. Now, I got them both coming out right there. Here's the front of my work. It's so hard to do show you on a big, with <laughs> a big poncho, but they're coming out right there. Okay. Now for the beads. Now remember, if if you want your um chains to not be so long as mine are, you can. You don't have to do, you can chain yours, you know, less than 150. Now, if you have beads that you want to put on, um, I'm going to take a yarn needle or an embroidery needle or something that your beads will fit, go through like that. Some beads have thicker holes than others. Mine have small ones for some reason, so. But just go ahead and use the tail here of your string and load up whatever beads you want on there. However many you want. Whatever you want it to look like. Mm. Mine are going everywhere. Okay. That's all I'm going to do on mine. And then you just kind of put some knots at the bottom so the beads just don't come on down. It just depends on... Okay, sorry about my dog barking. It just depends on how big of a hole your bead has, how many times you have to knot it to make sure it doesn't come undone. Some beads have a thick enough hole that they'll be able to come up on your chain and you can just knot the end of your chain. Mine, unfortunately, has kind of a small hole so they wouldn't go up on my chain. So I'm just using the tail and I'm going to knot it up several times here, nice and tight, so my beads don't fall off. And then I'll just trim the tail off a little bit, leave an inch or so of it on there, like that. See? I'm just putting knots there so it don't come undone. All right, once you get that done, you just trim off any extra you have. That is it. That's all there is to it. Remember, you don't have to put them beads. And you can leave your tie, or you can make it shorter than the chain 150, whatever you want. That's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I think it turned out really good. I think the colors are absolutely pretty. I wish Walmart would have had some navy blue beads. But I think these match pretty good. Sometimes you just got to go with what Walmart has. <laughs> so that's my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't ever miss out on any of my other videos. And if you look over on the right hand side of the screen right now, I'll put a playlist of all my other ponchos in case you want to check them out. Maybe you'll find something there that you like. Thanks everybody and have a good day.